Hey my lovelies, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another one of my YouTube videos. And before we start this video, I just want to give a shout out to my subscribers. I, I feel like I probably don't say this enough, even though I don't have a lot of subscribers. One day I hope to get there and have like a shitload of subscribers. But I want to take the time out and tell the subscribers that I do have, thank y'all so much for rocking with me and watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it. Hopefully one day I'll have a whole bunch of subscribers, but hey, I'm patient, but we're gonna get there. We gonna get there. If you guys don't know, my name is True TTJ, and thank you for tuning in to my channel. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and share, and turn on that bell. That way you can be notified for whenever I post on my channel and come and join my gang period okay so if you haven't already seen the title you already know these are five signs of knowing that you are fucking with a fake bitch when I say a fake bitch I'm not talking about in a relationship I'm talking about in a friendship okay a lot of people can make it seem like they want to be your friend but in honesty they don't really want to be your friend they only want to be in your life for a season and that's okay too because you know what it's a lesson learned it's not a life sentence so you guys should know the difference between you know the two but i'm just going to give you guys five signs of knowing that you're fucking with a fake b-i-t-c-h period can i say that i'm gonna say it because i didn't already say it like five thousand times okay let's get into the video okay Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I write down everything because this thing just don't always remember. So, I just have to write it down to help me get what I'm trying to say out. Pretty much. Okay. So, my first um, sign is when they always talk about themselves. Like, if you have a friend and they call you and they always want to talk about themselves, that lets you know that they are not really trying to be your friend. They just probably called you because all their other friends are busy and you was probably the last person in their contact list. And they were just like, hey, I really need to get this off my chest. Let me call this person because I know she's going to answer or I know he's going to answer. So why not? Okay, so when they call you and only talk about themselves, and eh, cut them off. They're fake. Sign number two. When they always want you to do what they want to do, but they never have any interest of doing what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, So let's say like if you have a friend and she always wants you to come out with her you know, to her invites, to her clubs, to her parties, to her social events, whatever. But when it's time to come for you to have a social event or you to have a party or something that, that, that promotes you or something that, that is beneficial to you, she's always busy because she, she only thinks about herself or he only thinks about himself. So that's the sign number two that they're fake. Sign number three is when they never invite you anywhere, but they always bragging about places that they go. Okay, so that's fake too. Like if me and you are friends, you should invite me to places. Ain't no way I should call you on the weekend and be like, hey girl, what you doing? And you'd be like, oh, nothing. I'm not doing anything. And then I find on social media that you was at some kind of event or something like that and you didn't really invite me and then your excuses will be oh i just thought that you may didn't want to come or maybe that you busy okay well let me let you know that how about you invite me and then i can tell you if i can come or if i'm busy how about that so when they don't want to invite you anywhere and they always bragging about places that they go they're fake trust me they're fake sign number four is when they're two-faced when they act differently around certain people now if you have a friend and she invites you around other one of her friends, but she totally ignore you or she always trying to cap on you, like always trying to like throw shade on you around other people to make herself feel good, that lets you know that she's a fake friend right there. Because if she's your friend and she's your genuine friend, she's going to always have your back. She's not going to sit here and try to belittle you in front of anybody. She's not going to make fun of you. You know what I'm saying? She's not going to, you know, be that mean. She's not going to be a mean girl, put it that way. So if she's two-faced it, get out because she always going to be two-faced it towards you, period. And the last but not least, sign number five is when they don't have your back. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, hypothetically speaking, that you was to get into a fight or get into like an argument with somebody and your so-called friend, she all the way over there. Like she ain't even trying to have your back or nothing like that, like. She's not even trying to, like, hold you down. That's a fake friend. Because if that was your real friend and y'all been rocking for a long time, she would have your back. She would be ready to 
to hit a bitch over the head with a crowbar, period. I don't know what to say. I'm just saying, like, she would be wanting a pistol whip somebody, you feel me? So, if she was your real true friend, she would definitely have your back. And if she don't have your back, then you need to let her go. Pick and choose who you want to put in your life. And if they're not making any value towards your life, or if they're not giving you better advice or, or making you a better person, then they shouldn't be in your life, period. Like, a lot of times we try to befriend people because of the stories that they tell us or, you know, their life experience that they tell us or, or anything that, that they try to make them seem appealing because misery love company. You guys got to understand that misery love company, I mean, it's, it's self-explanatory and you shouldn't have to feel like you need to be this person friend in order to keep them from harming themselves or keep them from doing stupid things. That's, that's not a friendship. That's codependency. And you don't need somebody to be dependent it. Dependent it. <laughs> I'm sitting here making up my own words and shit. You don't need somebody to be codependent on you. Okay? And that's the same in a relationship. They should want to walk beside you, have your back, want to spend time with you. You know what I'm saying? Want to make you a priority in their life. And if they don't, then they're fake. They're fake. Stay asses out the dough. It's pretty much all you gotta do. But hey, these are my five signs of knowing when you're fucking with a fake bitch. Friendship edition, of course. If you guys, please go ahead, subscribe, like, and share, comment. Always leave me a comment. I really want to hear from you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for the support. Bye.